Good morning, everyone. This is Bag of Dawn at Stock Market Caddy. It's April 11th, April 11th at 11.30 a.m. And it's been some time since I have personally gone out and uh, made a video. I, uh, I missed them on occasion. Um, but uh, rest assured, if you, um, you know, want to get our market perspectives, uh, Caddy Sue is uh, running a full-time Stock Market Caddy. She's not prone to make a lot of videos in the twit, uh, the Twittersphere. Um, but um, if you drop her a, uh, a direct mail, you can get on her direct mail list and, um, and certainly uh, take advantage of all of our tools and all of our education. I just wanted to weigh in here. We're at a very interesting time in the market, and it being a Saturday, I thought I'd come in and, and do this as a uh, kind of a, a public service um, announcement, if you will, a, um, what do they call them, PSAs. Um, very interesting times, and uh, I want to just share with everyone a perspective. We all know that the market crashed in uh, 2007, 2008, and you're probably wondering what kind of a chart am I looking at because this is the 2007, this is 2000 in, uh, November of 2008. You're saying, Don, the market crashed, what in the world could you be looking at? I mean, that's a peak up there. It's actually inverse of what the market was doing. Well, you're exactly right. This is the VIX, the put-to-call ratio. This is when um, it's a ratio when people are fearful, they buy puts, and when they're bullish, they buy calls. And it's a contrarian indicator. Um, people being people, they're gamers and operators, and everyone likes to wait till the last minute. Just like here in Florida, if they could get away with it, it's against the law. The insurance companies don't let them do it. But if they could buy their hurricane insurance, you know, two or three days in front of a storm, that's when they do it. And that's what they were doing back here in 2007 and 2008. They were buying the insurance like crazy, probably from people who had bought it way down here, as the storm, the financial hurricane was coming ashore. So then uh, when Bernanke did what he did to quell all that fear in poor money, free money for everybody, free cars, free homes, you got it, you know it, free money. Repress the interest rates, steal it from the savers, steal it from the old folks who saved all their lives, steal that free interest money and dump it out there because it's for the better good, say they. Well, we won't get into that today, but this is a reflection of what the VIX structure looks like. So I want to draw this for you and I want to show you something interesting. If you all like trend lines, you're not going to see this on CNBC, but let's take this trend line from the tippity top here and let's grab it right here and let's extend this to the right and let me fatten this line up so you can see this. There is a trend line from the very top to, I think this was QE2 and on down we go and you can see it was very important for the maestros to keep the VIX structure under this 45 degree trend. If they could manage to do that, they could keep the banks capitalized and keep the money flowing into the markets. And that's what they've been able to do. But let's go grab another um, trend line. We're going to go up here and we're going to grab it from right here, the very bottom. And let's put it right comparable to this one, that point in time. Let's extend this to the right and let's fatten it up so you can see it. And there you go. Now we don't want to let the VIX structure get too much underneath this line because you don't want to create bubble. Um, so they're trying to keep it in the structure. Now let's move this to see where we are today because we're literally off the chart. Look what we got folks. This is it. This is make or break time. There's not a whole lot more that uh, the central planners are going to be able to do with the VIX structure. We're reaching what we believe is the terminal point. That is why uh, we have been buying um, uh, long, going long VIX uh, at the end of closes, at the end of weeks, because the reality of it is, is when this VIX, VIX structure uh, begins to take off, they're probably not going to, you're not going to be able to get out, and you're not going to be able to get in. As you can see from past moves, there are literally people that have been short the VIX structure. Um, so there's a massive short position, 
and we know what people do when fear comes in you know they're all going to want out and they're all going to want in and the reality of it is you're not going to be able to get in so we can see here we're currently at 1543 we are expecting we're in a very very dry dry forest all someone has to do is just um, drop a cigarette but any kind of spark at all in the markets and folks are going to be trapped and so we're going to buy our insurance before the hurricane flags come up and uh, and we're very comfortable doing that and that's basically what we are doing in a large way now you can say well Don we don't trade uh, the VIX and we're not invest invested in the VIX we don't care well hold on this is the Dow so when everyone I just showed you the VIX structure that was up here when they were buying insurance that's when that was the it was too late that's when the market bottom back here this is where the market is now so if we are correct and we believe we are in the VIX structure do you want to be buying the Dow up here I think not let's take a look at the NQs the NASDAQ bring this up here we were in 2007 2008 when the VIX was peaking what did you want to be doing you wanted to be selling VIX and going along the market so if we're selling or I'm sorry if we're buying the VIX as you saw earlier down here what are we doing up here we are selling we are selling assets and you want to be looking for cues now fundamentals we don't pay any attention to because the central banks have taught us that fundamentals mean nothing if fundamentals actually worked the front the central banks wouldn't have done and wouldn't be doing what they're doing but they are reaching the end of what we call terminal velocity here um, and they are about to turn the markets over to the markets and the markets are going to do what they do and that is fool the greatest number of people the most and take a whole bunch of money away not ours now let's take a look at the TF this is the Russell 2000 take a moment for it to come up same thing this is where it bottomed and here we are up at the top this by the way is let me bring this into view this is what we call a Gartley pattern and the Russell is making which is really really interesting to us let me bring this into view it is making Gartley's on top of Gartley's these are bearish patterns at the end of a run we had one here we had a second one here and we are in the process of, of forming a third one we expect the markets to top out early next week um, we expect to see that spike in the VIX and we expect that hurricane coming ashore so make your own decisions if you're on the market you better buy some insurance in our view uh, if you're not in the market now is not the time if you've been sitting out the market and you're looking to profit what are we doing we're going along the VIX structure and we'll end with that slide this is the VIX we are going along the VIX and we are selling the markets if there's any fundamental piece of news that you want to use it's none other than the biggest crony company in the country in crony ML at GE what did he do this past week he announced that they're selling their financial services arm all the loans all the free money that they've been giving away this whole time they're gonna sell that off of course they are do you want to stick around do you want to hold that when the defaults start coming in and blow the company apart as it did back in 2007 and 2008 so there's your fundamental folks we are at terminal velocity on the VIX structure there's not much more that the central bankers can do um, and so hurricane warning it's coming hunker down get your insurance on and be careful and uh, again if you want to learn from Caddy Sue drop her an email get on her private email list good luck